What's up everybody, my name is Braskus and welcome to Magic Maker. This game's been out for kind of a while, but I only recently found out about it and it looked like a lot of fun and I'm just looking for something. I'm kind of trying out a whole bunch of new games at this point. Not that there aren't other good ones out there that we've been playing, but I've been really feeling a need to try something new and I'm looking for something else that can really get its hooks into me and get me excited about it. So I'm giving a whole bunch of different things a shot and this looked like fun. So we are going to start a new game. Uh, I barely started this one, really just to see how it controlled. <laughs> Get a job hippie. Okay, well, I guess we'll start by doing that then. Dragon Quill Bookstore. Wizard Dry Cleaners, now hiring. Bloodhammer Financial, Magical Tax Return Specialists, now firing. Oh, and not hiring is what that one says. All right, well, Wizarding Temp Agency. Sounds like a good place to go. Can't wait to afford to feed my kids again. Welcome to the Wizarding Temp Agency, where we are fully committed to keeping wizards employed. I gotta pay my rent this month. Okay, rent is one of the many exciting things you can afford once our state-of-the-art job placement spell finds you a career. I like things. Please wait while the job placement spell determines your future career. It's goblin professor, uh, vampire acolyte, Creepy Doctor was one of those. Rude Wizard. Unicorn Doctor. Vampire Person. Back Alley Superhero. <laughs> Murder Hipster. Security Guard. Ah, uh, congratulations. According to our job placement spell, you'd be perfect as a security guard. Luckily, a local wizarding school, Dorwall Community College, needs a replacement. Sounds good. I'll just teleport you to the aptitude test, and if you survive, you'll be hired on the spot. Aww. <laughs> All right, so I found a magic wand. Uh, what's this one? Grade F rock. Click a slot to add a material to my magic wand, I guess. Like my rock. Maximum burrow time 25. So despite its bland appearance, it may contain powerful magical properties, or it could just be a rock. It's definitely not candy. Okay, spell effects are listed here. At the top, you can also name your wand. I think I'm good for now. 10 damage can pass through walls for a limited time. Ah, okay, gotcha. So it goes a short ways into the wall. Understood, so I need a crafting thing, crafting station to do that. Low spell power, but can be used anytime. All right, what's this do? Cast spell using mana. What is this? Magic spell, Just that's all it's called. Okay, it doesn't have a name, it's just a magic spell. Uh, I to check materials. So now I have a fire crystal, emanates a soft warm glow, leaves a burning trail on the ground you walk on. Maybe put it on your robes, put it on spells and wands, on contact dealing damage over time, fire can spread to nearby foes. All right, cool. Spells have more spell power than wands, but cost mana. So now I can enchant spells. So we'll do that. And now my spell has a fire ability, which spreads to enemies, nice. Press S to crouch. <laughs> I just kind of shrink, I like it. Hold the button, jump higher. Secret. Stone of earth, magic robe. If your health reaches zero, you explode. Well, that's good to know. Uh, great F lightning rod. What's this? Ah, okay, so this is for my, my robes. Which on robes, walking builds up an energy shield that destroys enemy projectiles. Nice. Robes use materials to provide passive effects such as protection or movement abilities. Oh, okay, I see. That 
There we go. Can I maybe... I want to build up my shield a bit and see if there's a secret up there like there was in that other one. And there was! I know these kinds of games. Map records the area you have explored. Alright, so we're close to the end then. Can I click on the map to see it? Whoop, nope. Gems unlock chests at the end of a level. Gems like that one. Okay. I've only found one, but at least it's there. So I'm probably supposed to find the remaining gems. I can see another one over there, so yep. Alright. Pow. Yep, they're just going to give me all the gems. That's nice of them. And there's one more over here in the water. Oh, God. Nope, I'm wrong. I'll just keep setting you on fire. There we go. Now he'll drop a gem. All right, was there anything else up top there that I missed before I go too far? No. It's an interesting art style. I really like it. It's not quite like 2D 8 pixel. It's kind of got a, I, what do I call that? Like almost a paper cutout kind of a thing going on, which I really like. At the end of each level, you can earn treasure for each gem you find. So, what do I get here? Great F rocks and quicksilver gear. Lightning rods and a fire crystal. Explosive powder and quicksilver gear. Uh, great F rock, trick bullet, and another trick bullet. One fire crystal and two more trick bullets. And a security guard license. Sweet. No limit to the spells you can create. Magic is great. All right, so now I've got all of this. I could probably just put a bunch of them on here, huh? Let's see, what do I have? So the trick bullet on spells and wands, ricochets toward the nearest enemy on hit. Explosive powder, explodes on hit damaging and applying effects to nearby enemies, falls off with distance. Shocks on hit damaging nearest enemy, causes projectiles to travel faster. Um, I like the, the idea of igniting them, so I'm going to do that. So now it goes into the wall, it sets them on fire, and I may as well just make use of more of them. So let's do the... Uh... I can make it explosive. Now my magic spell, uh, I'll let that one ricochet, because, I mean, why not? And we'll also make it explosive. And then, can I put stuff on my robes? Increases move speed, creates a shockwave when landing, boosts self-knockback distance on spell cast. We've already got the shield. Leaves a burning trail on the ground you walk on. Um, let's give myself some move speed, I guess. I'll call that good for now. Oh, so I can change the level of power of these dummies. Nice. I think I'm happy with that. Doorwall Community College, no monsters. <laughs> Yes, yes. Congratulations on passing your security guard exam. As headmaster of Dorwall Community College, I am proud to welcome you as a member of our staff. Yada, yada, yada. Well, you've got a lot to take care of. Jump in that portal for your first assignment. Sounds like a good time. Forest zone. 
Get lost, associates find suspicious activity, search for dangerous creatures. People have been re people have been reporting goblins casting spells in the forest. We all know goblins are too dumb to cast spells, so go see if you can find out what's going on. Oh yeah, don't forget to craft some useful spells for your adventure. Last week's security guard only had a basic wand and robe and kind of got exploded. <laughs> well, I think I'm okay. I have a wand and I have spells. What else can I get here? Ooh. Yeah. So I have murdered two goblins and a fairy already. As a security guard though, why am I checking out the forest? Shouldn't I just be, you know, keeping the place safe? Oh, hi. Turret flowers, huh? Oh boy, all right, I need to be careful here. Ah! Go away, fairy. Malam. Great F essence of purple. The hell does that do? Oop, I missed. Oh god. Whoa, okay, careful. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. Get a shot at the, there we go. That ricochet is really nice with the bullet thing. Okay. I guess I can see my map up there. Who are you? Oh, come on. Casting spells isn't that hard. Let's try this again. Slot the material and... Whoa, who are you? Who are you? I'm Azazel. Pleased to meet you. Er, um, rats. Probably shouldn't have said that. Looks like the jig is up. Time for a pop quiz, goblins. Destroy that wizard! What jig? Oh, God. There are a lot of bad things down here. All right, just head down and start taking them out. Jeez. Okay, were there any more up above me? I mean, there's a fairy or two around, but before I completely abandon the area above me, I wanna make sure I didn't leave anything behind. You know, like the treasure lying on the ground over there. Okay, and then yeah, looks like I wanna head down. Yeah. Especially since it looks like there are gems down below. And not contained in any plants that are gonna eat me, so that's a happy thing. I don't need to be feeding anyone. Seymour does not need to provide me as food. Oh boy. Okay, let's get up higher and see if we can... Dang it. Okay, there we go. Quicksilver gears and rocks. Definitely starting wizard gear. A little far. There we are.
Whoa, okay. Boss fight time against the smelly plant thing. Graspus Brambleweed. Um, this thing should be close to dead by now, wouldn't it? There we go. I just wasn't close enough to finish it off. Sparkly. New spell? Oh no, damn it, I didn't want to go through that. Cancel. Oh wait, monster is guarding a hidden path containing fa Yep, sure, okay. Oh man, when it said hidden path, I thought it was like an optional extra objective. I didn't think it was the end of that. I would have gone back and continued looking for more of the gems. Well, okay, guess I'm going through. All right, now we know for next time. Get lost associates, find suspicious activity, search for dangerous creatures. Wait, somebody named Azazel is teaching magic to goblins? I think I fired an Azazel last week. Kept complaining about not teaching monsters or whatever. Well, they did say no monsters on the uh, entry to the school. So, Illusion Dust shoots multiple projectiles at reduced spell power. For every few spell casts, your spell will be cast twice. That's kind of nice. Projectiles home in on the nearest enemy or points to the nearest loot. Enemies hit are knocked back. They take damage if knocked into terrain. Reduces fall speed. Effect can be disabled by crouching. Nice. Hey, you survived. Congratulations or whatever. Uh, thanks. I guess I'll introduce you to the rest of the staff then. You've already met the wand maker, librarian, and tailor. The costumer will allow you to customize your appearance. The alchemist will help you create new materials for your spells. Talk to the artist to customize what your spells look like. And these portals lead to zones like the forest, where you'll find all kinds of chores, er, magical adventures for you to complete. Have fun and no slacking off guard. Alright. Well, this is certainly interesting. I'm having fun with it. Who are you? Tipsy the advice-giving drunk. Combining materials with synergistic effects can yield tremendous power. All right, let's go take a look at some of these new people that we've been discussing with. Daniel Galf Adventurer. A wizard arrives to class precisely when they need to, on time. Anyone can explode goblins with fire. It takes a true master to do it with flare. Primary visual, pick one. Secondary visual, huh. Interesting. Let's do like that, I guess. Huh. It's kind of cool. So this is the guy that does the enchant... Oh, I want actually that. I want to use the... I like the illusion one. Every few spell... Yeah, spell will be cast twice. Double cast delay, five spells. Sweet. Uh, are you anybody I care about? The headmaster, always one thing after another. I don't want any trouble, guard. Me either. Uh, so who are you? Wand maker? I've been making wands since I was your age. Hmm. Upgrade. Swap all materials in this item with their highest available grade. Okay, so I think I just made it slightly better. Call it finished for now. Whatever spell you've come up with, I'm sure it's really impressive to the freshman. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the costumer person. Oh, wow, okay. So, what are my options for... 
Jeez. Okay. Head. Skulls. Face. It's a little hard to see, but you can give yourself horns, ears. I think that's a beard, more or less. I'm not even sure what that is. Let's stick to that for now. Face accessories. Sunglasses wizard. Epic beard. Eyes. Huh, okay, I feel like I should have some different stuff going on here. First of all, let's change the color. I just kind of need to see everything here. What about lower blue? Feet can be like blue. Hat. They certainly don't leave you wanting for options, do they? Jeez. Gotta go with the classic wizard hat. We should make it, we should be, uh, all right, what else do I have here? Kind of like the evil looking eyes. But I have blue eyes. Face accessory. Awesome beard is fine. Good with what we got there. Fine with that. Hair front. Hmm. Do that, I suppose. Hair back? Jeez. Uh, that's probably closest to what I'm doing right now. Little talisman. Ooh, there we go. Nice little cloak thing going on. I kinda like the raggedy cloak, though. If we're gonna do that, though, it should be like a dark gray to a black. We'll do a dark gray. Middle robes. Those can be like. That way, and then the lower ones, I, I don't know. At this point, it's even hard to see what it is. So we'll just call that good. Okay, now we have our own little customized looking wizard. And I love him. Go cheetahs, that's the mascot. Don't you join the cheetahs? You gotta go fast, we don't have time for slow-mos. Which course would you like to do? Target tests and racetracks. Huh, don't worry about that later. Kahuna, wizard of the waves, nice. Well, I've been going for about 23 minutes. We've explored the... Uh, all oh right, he does this to upgrade different stuff. Anyway, um, we've explored the castle, the school. We've kind of seen how the game works, and I like it. It's probably something I'll mostly do casually. I don't know that I'll do a whole bunch more on it, but if you guys want to see more on it, then I'll happily do more. It seems really simple on the surface, but they've put a lot in here, which is really nice. You know, I've kind of run into a rash of these indie games recently where... They're impressive, but there's not enough to them. You know, they sort of design this system based on other games of a similar type, but they don't go all the way. But this one seems to have gone the extra mile. So not only did they kind of make sort of a Metroidvania, Terraria-style feel of the game, where you're moving around and exploring and investigating, but they gave you magical spells and the ability to modify the effects of those spells and what they look like and the appearance of your character and the wands versus actual spells. And you can change them out and get better ingredients and upgrade them. And there's a whole bunch of character building aspect to it that's just fan fantastic. So I am extremely happy that I tried this out and I'm going to have fun playing this on my own later if no one wants to see more of it. But if you do, let me know in the comments below and I will happily play more. Otherwise, make sure that you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and as always, guys, I'll see everyone in the next episode. Catch you guys later.